this is the um, the start screen here on the PC for flipbooks and um, we have several settings but it works off a Canon camera and what I wanted to show you here is uh, some of the tools we'll be using we have the Sony uh, UPDR200 we have a Canon XSI digital camera we have our model hi Heather Hello. Uh, and we also have a cutting tool here now you'll notice that here on the printer we're going to be um, doing six by four inch prints that are actually cut into two inch by six inch prints. So uh, that up here on the uh, screen. And so let me just reach over here so you can take a look at this as we go through it. The F5 key will start. And that is the start screen we have set up here for the computer. And then I'll hit it one more time. And Heather will get ready. There she is. All right, Miss Heather, I'll go ahead. There'll be a countdown next time when I hit the five. One, two, three. One, two, go. Now she's making a wonderful flip book faces and doing her thing and smiling and all that good stuff. Um, and it's just about done. Boom. She's done. And then we'll go uh, F6 is a review. This is her doing her thing. Replay. And then uh, F7 is print and it'll happen over here you can hear the printer starting to warm up now and you'll notice that the prints come out as two inch by four inch strips and would you put that down and uh, grab those as they come out and they are numbered and Heather will put them in the correct order. I'm going to lift this thing up so it doesn't let them all fly too far. There we go. There we go. That's all of them. There you go. And she'll end up with a packet of pictures, just like this. There's one on the right and 31 on the left. <clears throat> so we printed out a total of 60 images that are on a 2 inch by 6 inch strip. So we need to cut that. We'll cut that in two. And I'll show you how we do that. So here we have a stack of uh, 30 images, actually 30 strips, that will be cut in two, and those strips will be made into a flipbook. So Heather is going to take that and put it into our chopper here. We have pre-cut it so that um, we will cut exactly at the three uh, at a three-inch mark. Mm -hmm. So she's uh, got it in there, and uh, you want to pull the red. You want to tighten down the. She'll tighten down this. Oh, yes, yes. Tighten that down so it's nice and firm against there. Good. I can only want to pull that red thing out. And she'll pull it down. Oops. And you want to. There you go. And did you flip them upside down? Mm hmm. So now she's got a flip book. And I want to just. One more time, go try it. One more. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, we could put a cover on at this point. Our next step is we're going to go to the uh, uh, stapler. We have a heavy duty stapler. And Heather is going to, uh, she'll slide it all the way to the back. And we're going to make sure our pieces are nice and uh, square. And then she'll firmly push hard and go right through all the pictures. And she'll lift it up. And now we have a flip book, and she'll go through it. There you go. And that's how we do flip books here. So just to recap, this is what we recommend you use for making flip books. We have a chopper here um, that is uh, very reasonable. It's about $300. We use a uh, stapler. We have a standard PC running um, uh, Windows XP and uh, with our custom graphics and then a Sony UPDR200 you can certainly use your own uh, die sublimation printer we have uh, our digital still camera running live view on a tripod on our background screen and that's it